The man leading the Army's largest armored corps at Fort Hood will soon be passing that command to someone else. Tonight, 25 News reporter Adam Schindler has an exclusive interview with Lieutenant General Pat White. Three Corps, the largest armored corps in the U.S. Army, has been under the command of Lieutenant General Pat White for the past few years, a fighting force that he says is the most lethal in the world. There is absolutely no other fighting force like the Third Armored Corps anywhere in the world of any army for any nation. A corps of over 90,000 spread across several army installations and around the world. General White has kept the 3rd Armored Corps ready to answer the call to combat. Fire! We've got almost every single military occupational specialty in the army in this corps. Uh, we fly helicopters, we shoot artillery pieces, we got tanks and Bradleys out there. We've got the most modern communicators. Our engineers are the most modern that you have. Capabilities aside, the sheer size of the 3rd Armored Corps is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, if we're committed as a core, as a complete core, all 90,000 of us, uh, to fight on our nation's behalf, the nation's sending us in because it's going to be over when we're done. And we're going to win. Being one of only 61 people to lead the nation's largest armored corps is a responsibility that General White hasn't taken lightly. Not only is it an honor, it's something you got to cherish, right? You got to, you got to take advantage every moment, um, and remember that, you know, this was an opportunity that was given to you. Before he hands that command on to someone else, he has a message for the soldiers and families of the Third Armored Corps. Nothing happens in this corps without you, whether you're a soldier, a Department of the Army civilian, a family member, a contractor, somebody taking care of our kids in our schools, somebody working in our hospitals, right? It, it all happens because of you, so thanks. General White has spent decades fighting for his country and leading our nation's heroes, and now he's ready to hand the reins to the next generation. At Fort Hood, Adam Schindler, 25 News.